the one red, pour out the Jameson for ancestors to swig. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. The problem with that though is, where do we get the funding for that? Where do we get all this money that to pour into, you know, starting these factories and building this infrastructure? Now I would say a lot of the money could come from some of the black billionaires that we have in this world. But as we see, black billionaires don't really do nothing they do the same stuff white billionaires do in so many words. So, you you know, I can't see a, a, a regular nine to five guy focusing on trying to start a grocery store because unfortunately he doesn't make enough money to do too much of anything. And then once we fit, factor in taxes, social security, things of that nature, he really ain't got no money. So I think the reason that it's been so hard for us to build these things he's talking about is because a lot of us are dependent on a job that we have to work every day to make money because that's how we were raised. That's what we told was the American dream. Yes, it was all a sham, but fortunately, it's the biggest sham in the country and there's still put once again they still have schools teaching the same exact things so it's, it's not over but yeah I just wanted to say that as much as as good as that sounds it's just hard to see it happening because everybody has to fend for themselves everybody has to you know has to eat and pay the bills and people aren't going to just sacrifice their f livelihood and families to for another person in which we should that should be the mentality and the dynamic when it comes to unity and maybe if we did think like that we could probably really make some big changes in this country but we don't think like that so there's no reason to even get into that deeply aware of their african roots well i don't think that's a question just for african americans I think that's a question for Africans anywhere. Yeah, of course, but I'm speaking about this because you are from, from the United States. so of course Right, I'm but I, I want to pan-Africanize the question, yes. though. Okay, all right. So because so whether you're dealing with France, whether you're dealing with UK, whether you're dealing with black America, okay? So globally, yeah. Globally. It's no different. Yeah. Canada, it's yeah. no different. So do you think that Afro-descendants are really aware of their African roots? I think that we are aware of the roots, but we are in denial of the roots. Okay? Some people This are. is why black women spend billions of dollars on perm, weave, blonde hair, green eyes, blue eyes. I know some people have, a, you know, a lot of people talk about him saying stuff like that. But I think there is some truth to that. Same thing Sister um, Ali said, you know, it's hard to say that you know how can you love somebody else when you don't even love yourself when you want to look like somebody else so sometimes that point i think women don't you know some women take it as an insult or like he's trying to bash women but he's not he's really just saying that you know look look at look at us and the things that we do and those are, these are the reasons why, you know, we don't love, these are ways that we show the world that we don't respect ourselves and we don't love ourselves. This is why educated black men, I don't care if they live in Paris, I don't care if they're in Austria, Holland, UK, Canada, US, or South Africa. Educated black men marry outside of their race more than the men of any other race put together because you hate yourself. And the reason the reason 
while we do this is we actually think we can convince white people if we act white enough to accept us because we don't understand white supremacy and we don't understand eugenics. Eugenics is the science of exterminating the African DNA. It don't matter if you're light skinned with green eyes, you still African. It don't matter if you're blue, black, purple with nappy hair, you still African. It don't matter if you in Paris, in Paris speaking French or the U.S. speaking English. At the end of the day, you carry the gene of Africa. And that gene of Africa is the most powerful DNA on earth. We are the only people who can reproduce ourselves in every other group. I can make a baby with a Chinese woman. It's an African baby. I can make a baby with a French woman. It's an African baby. An Arab, an East Indian, a Native American. It's an African baby. You understand? Yeah. The white man cannot reproduce himself in any other woman but one who looks like him because he's genetically recessive. I'm genetically dominant, and that's why he must eliminate me because in the natural order of things, if I do absolutely nothing, we can literally predict the date where he will no longer exist. So he has to make a decision. He either has to get rid of me first before nature gets rid of him. So speaking about this, what is your feeling about interracial marriage? I don't support it. Why? I have nothing against white women or Chinese women or Arab women or East Indian women. But the black man belongs with the black woman. The first institution that has to be built is the black family. If you don't save that, you save nothing else. If you don't build that, you build nothing else. A white woman can understand my struggle. A Chinese woman can understand my struggle. And what black men fail to recognize, even when you marry white or Arab or Chinese or East Indian or Latino, that woman is still loyal to her race. So it doesn't matter if she had your baby. It doesn't matter if y'all got married. It doesn't matter if y'all sleeping with each other. At the end of the day, her loyalty is not to her husband. It is to her community. And at any moment that that community calls on her to do a job, she will do it. So even though you're laying on top of her, she's still in charge. <laughs> That's a... Uh, I never looked at it like that. Um, but I guess he got... He has some points there. Um, what he said, um, I know, I remember one of the first things I heard him say was, um, if you marry a white woman, you can't come to the meetings. Like <laughs> when we have our black Panther meetings and stuff, you can't come because you're going to go back and pillow talk with that snow bunny until everything that we talked about in the meetings, man, Dr. Umar is hilarious, but the man is very smart, very knowledgeable. And like I said, he, he definitely you know, speaks, you know, um, in my opinion, he speaks the language that a lot of black men need to hear. You know, um, we need to know about our history. We need to know about a lot of things that he talks about. And I, like I say, I, that's why I repost this stuff is because this is a place where you can come and get everything kind of concentrated in one where you can just really watch Dr. Umar all day if you want to. Um, Kevin Samuels all day. Now, I'm gonna be on there too. But uh, I don't be in. The, I don't be all over the place. But um, but no, like you know, I can't really. I'm not really gonna say too much about interracial dating because I talked about that numerous times. We've always talked about that, so I know you should go on into depth with that. Um, but what he said about us hating ourselves and things of that nature, and black men dating outside their race, all that is big facts and. I feel like it needs to change, but unfortunately, you know, it's probably not no time soon because, you know, I know a lot of, and it's funny, I'm quite sure you guys do too, I know a lot of light-skinned people that are married to white women, like light-skinned men, like light-skinned men, like light, light skin, like almost like, like their parents might have been like they might have had a black parent and a white parent pretty much that's how light skin you know and they're dark they still have their negro features of course because once again we're the dominant gene but they're light skin and sometimes i feel like maybe because they're lighter than everybody else they feel like they you know should go to the to you know be with white people and stuff like that i'm i'm just saying i could see that as well as I was also thinking, and this is just my opinion, and this is just me thinking about different things, but I was also thinking as a light-skinned person, for sure, you're treated differently throughout life as you grow up between 
black people and white people, you know, white people probably treat you better because in our community, light-skinned people, men and women, you know, they're looked at, I'm not going to say they're looked at, well, most people look at like a, a real light-skinned chick, most men will be like, oh, she thinks she all that. Meaning, because she's light-skinned, she thinks that she's better than everybody else. Now, that's just an assumption. That's, that's a hell of an assumption to make just based off a person's skin tone. But that's how deep that colorism mentality goes in our community. So just throwing that out there just as an example of, you know, that light-skinned mentality. So when you have people acting like that and talking to you like that and treating you like that in the black community, and maybe white people are treating you, you know, because you're black, of course. It's different. So I just thought about that, man. I broke that down. So now I, I, I kind of, I, I, it's crazy, but yeah, I kind of get a better understanding of just breaking that down myself. So anyways, appreciate the love. Like I said, this was a great interview. Uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, of course, I'm going to have um, more interviews with him as well as um, other people on YouTube other scholars and um, people talking about black fatherhood as well as people talking about the black community, what we can do, what we should do. Um, we got to get some stuff about reparations, man. I heard about reparations and people giving reparations in California. See if that passes. That's going to be crazy if it does. That'll be dope. But anyways, appreciate the love. www.blackfathersofcleveland.com. Peace.